We are all surrounded by fat, sick, and unhealthy people. Even those that figure out how to lose weight regain it in a matter of months or years. The five real reasons you can't lose weight are nutrient deficiencies, high omega-6 intake, low quality meat, lack of muscle, and hyperpalatable foods. Nutrient deficiencies. Your body doesn't only crave macronutrient energy, fat, protein, carbohydrates. It also craves micronutrient energy, vitamins, minerals, and elements, fatty acids. So if your body is deficient in any of said micronutrients, you will crave certain foods. Unfortunately, most people never get enough of these foods in their diet, so they essentially never satisfy their appetite. Common culprits are vitamin A as well as vitamin K2, two nutrients only contained in quality animal foods. These foods also tend to be very satiating. See how many bites of raw butter you can eat compared to a box of cookies. Tying into nutrient deficiencies, you can have imbalanced omega-3 to omega-6 ratios. This creates inflammation in the body, which alters cell function, ultimately affecting the endocannabinoid system. This system regulates many functions, but the concern here is appetite control and food intake. Polyunsaturated fats, omega-6 fats, are precursors for endocannabinoids. So whether you're consuming a high amount of omega-6 from vegetable seed oils, or from low quality chicken or pork, maybe even beef, you can end up with the same issue. Most standard American diets contain copious amounts of vegetable oils, of low quality meat. Makes sense why people are stuffing their faces. This low quality meat can also contain high levels of estrogen from atrazine, an estrogenic herbicide that is commonly sprayed on crops and fields, mostly in the United States, to the estrogen that they inject to fatten up the animals. Estrogen also has a fattening effect on humans, making you lazy, lowering testosterone. This low quality meat principle isn't necessarily specific to meat. It can apply to other foods as well. The amount of agrochemicals, herbicides, pesticides, insecticides, glyphosate that we spray on our food is so detrimental, it explains why people see benefits from fasting. If a healthy person that's on a nutrient-dense diet fasts, they will not see the same mental clarity benefits that everyone is speaking about in the context of fasting. If you poison yourself every two to three hours, just like every other person in America on the standard American poison diet, it's no wonder you feel better while you're fasting. Another consideration for why you're not losing weight is a lack of lean body mass. One pound of muscle burns approximately 50 calories per day. It's why you see lean, muscular people lifting weights and overweight, flabby people on the treadmill. A reasonable goal would be to put, you know, 20 pounds of lean body mass on in your first year of training. That results in over 1,000 calories extra burn per day. So people with a low amount of muscle mass typically have an incredibly difficult time losing weight. Even when fasting, these people burn far less calories than someone with even a small amount of lean body mass. The fifth reason is hyperpalatability. Hyperpalatable foods are certainly an issue. The combination of sugar or really carbohydrates, especially sugar though, with anything makes it unnaturally flavorful, unnaturally tasty, and we don't have a hunger signal to stop eating it. Ice cream is a pretty good example of this. Uh, most desserts, uh, the combination of fat and carbohydrates specifically. As detrimental as a hyperpalatable food can be, it's not too much of an issue if you are following a nutrient-dense diet high in animal foods. If you eat a grass-fed steak with some bone marrow, you simply won't be as hungry or be able to eat as much of these hyperpalatable foods. Plus, it's not to say that these foods are necessarily bad for you even though they usually are. High quality ice cream can be made using the right ingredients. But this combination of hyperpalatability and lack of nutrients in the standard American diet is why the health of America is in the state that it is today. I've spoken about this in the weight loss video I did with my sister. She was suffering from all of the above. We had to address every single one of these issues in order for her to lose weight. Uh, the only issue that wasn't 100% necessary to address was the lack of muscle mass, the lack of lean body mass. 
I was able to get my sister to lose all of her excess body fat without putting on really any significant amount of muscle. Uh, but the, the food quality had to be dialed in. You know, she was on a carnivore keto diet for a period of several months and she just wasn't losing weight. And until we actually increased the food quality, you know, moved from grain fed to grass fed, you know, moved from conventional dairy to raw high quality dairy, that's when she started losing the weight. It's the combination of the estrogen in the meat, of the omega-6 stimulating your appetite, you know, the increased nutrient content satisfying your appetite, and, and being able to even just perform all the metabolic processes in your body in general. You really need to apply all of these concepts in most cases to lose weight, and the lean body mass, the weightlifting, really just speeds things up. So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. If you could please like the video, subscribe if you haven't, definitely hit that bell icon. If you guys would like to support me further, please check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. Uh, we just got in some grass fed beef belly, can't get it anywhere else online. Uh, we got lamb brains now, lamb liver, as well as chicken hearts. Again, that's frankiesfreerangemeat.com. You can also go to frankiesnaturals.com for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me guys and enjoy your weekend.